Welcome to our Feeding Babies Preventing Food Allergies video. We will be talking about how to introduce common food allergens to your baby. This video is for general information only and should not replace the advice of your health professional. It was created by Alberta Health Services Nutrition Services. As discussed in our first foods video, it is recommended to start baby on solid foods at about six months of age, offering an iron-rich food such as pureed meat, mashed beans, or infant cereal as baby's first food. It is also important to offer common food allergens such as peanuts, eggs, cow's milk, tree nuts, fish, shellfish, soy, wheat, and sesame when starting baby on solid foods. Evidence shows that the early introduction of these common food allergens may help prevent food allergies. Peanut butter and eggs are good ones to start with. If your baby does happen to have a reaction to one food, it is still recommended to continue to introduce and offer the other common food allergens. Here are some tips to help you with introducing common food allergens to your baby. Dairy foods and milk as an ingredient in cooking and baking can be introduced around six months of age. Wait to offer milk as a drink until nine to 12 months of age. The texture, size, and shape of any food should be modified to prevent choking. For example, whole peanuts are a choking hazard and peanut butter is too thick to offer alone. Instead, mix two teaspoons of smooth peanut butter with two to three teaspoons of hot water, formula, or breast milk to thin it out. Or stir peanut butter or powdered peanut butter into baby cereal or yogurt. Introduce only one common food allergen per day. This makes it easier to identify a food that may have caused an allergic reaction if one were to occur. While a baby is trying new foods, they can continue eating foods that they have already been introduced to. It is important to continue to offer each common food allergen weekly in amounts that baby enjoys so that the baby's body continues to recognize the food as safe. Some parents find it helpful to make freezer cookies or muffins that contain a variety of common allergens like milk, soy, wheat, egg, and nut butters. The first time you offer baby a common food allergen, feed your baby rather than having them self-feed. This is because food smeared on a baby's skin may cause skin irritation that can be mistaken for an allergy. Do not test a food by rubbing it on baby's skin. As most allergic reactions occur within two hours, offer baby a new common food allergen in the morning or when baby will be awake for at least two hours after in case allergy symptoms develop. Check with baby's doctor if baby has a rash or hives, an itchy mouth, throat, or nose, nasal congestion, runny nose, or sneezing, they are throwing up, have diarrhea, or blood in their stool, or stomach pain. Although rare, if baby has serious reactions such as trouble breathing or swelling of the face, throat, lips, or tongue, call 911 immediately. Be sure to introduce common allergens when your baby is feeling well. If your baby is teething or has a cold, symptoms may be mistaken for possible allergic reactions. Food Allergy Canada is a good website for additional information. A link to it can be found in the video description. You can also speak with a dietitian if you have additional questions about allergies. We hope this video has helped you with introducing common food allergens to your baby. For more information on feeding babies, watch our other videos in this series, or check out the resource links in the description. You can also email us with questions or call HealthLink at 811 and ask to speak to a dietitian. To access a dietitian in your zone, visit ahs.ca slash nutrition. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like and share. If you have any feedback or suggestions for improvement, please email us at publichealthnutrition.southzone at ahs.ca. Thanks for watching. Together.